Hello everybody, this is part one, how to create an add-on folder. Uh, it's only for people who are really not familiar with making add-ons and launching them, so advanced people just stay away from this one. Um, you have to place an add-on folder into your Arma2 directory. I got a custom path over here, so for you, if you pick the default one, it should look like C Programs, Bohemia Interactive, Arma2. In this folder, um, you put a new one, which starts with at the at sign and then a name. You can pick whatever name you want. It's just for your own orientation. Uh, but do not use white space to separate words in that name. Use minus or use underscore whatever. Not white space. Otherwise, it's not working. We take this one as example. It's Jarhead's environmental sound mod. So in this folder, you have another one. And in this folder, you have the PBOs who are the add-on itself, if you call it like that. Um, to understand how that thing works, we also got a folder named server key. That's not interesting for you as a client. It's only for the admin of a server. So I take a look in that one. It's called jsrsfa.bi key. That's the name of Jarhead's private key. So you put this one on the server, and I go back. In the add-ons folder, you have, uh, for example, this one. This is the PBO who is doing the sound for the custom bullet sounds, the bullet hits. And every PBO has a BI sign for it. So when you remember the name of the server key, this one, jsrsfa.bi key, the BI sign has that one in its name. So it has the name of the PBO, as you can see over here, and then the name of the key and the BI sign. So the server is checking over this key if you are allowed to join the server with that PBO. So if it's matching to that BI sign, you can join, otherwise you get kicked. So always make sure that you put the PBO and the matching BI sign into this folder. Um, I go back, do it again, if it was too fast. So add on the name of the folder, add for example, like over here, the Jared environmental. Do not use white space in this name to separate words. In that folder, you put another one. These are not interesting. They are not. They're totally ignored right now. All that stuff that is in this add-on folder is uh, important. So you can either do it add-ons like it's written over here, a caps. A and DD small, O caps and NS small, it doesn't matter. You can also write everything small, but it has to be A, D, D, O, N, S, like add ons. I know it sounds stupid, <laughs> again, for the advanced people, but if you're not familiar with it, it's very helpful, I guess. And in there, you put the PBOs. So if you download stuff, maybe, for example, I don't want to do advertising, but I download everything uh, on Armaholic, for example. Some add ons have this correct order like you open a package a zip file or whatever and it has that jsrs minus e uh, with an ad in front of it and that structure so you can just unpack it into your arma2 folder in your main directory in here but if it only includes uh, the package um, pbos you create this kind of structure you do an ad you call it sound mod whatever in there an add-on folder this one, ADD, ONS, and then the PBO plus, very important, the matching BI sign. Then you can be on the uh, safe side. Okay, so that's creating an unfolder. Step back uh, to the next part, how to launch that stuff. Laters.